Hello YouTube, fun to be doing another video again. Um, today I want to show you a good feature or a good program for you who are owning or thinking about buying a PS3, which I have right there. I can show you if I just move my screen. I think you can see it. Yes, there. Yeah, I like that PS3. Anyhow, back to me. There's this good program called it's called PS3 Media Server and uh, it's a free program. Uh, I'm gonna put the link in my description on the where to download it. So it's actually a JavaScript uh, program which is very small and easy to use. So what you need to do is you put your PS3 on, you put your TV on, so it's on the menu. And when you've done that, you put on your PS3 media server and you will find it automatically. And what will do, it will share those files you chose to share. You can share everything over your private network. Or you can share those files, only those files or only those directions or only those, uh, yeah, those hard drives or anything that you want to share over the private network. I don't know if you're living with if you're having your internet with your neighbor you maybe don't want to share your whole computer. That's a simple thing to say. So it's PS3 Media Server and it's PMP, plug and play. So it makes everything plug and play. Um, I haven't had any single problem with it. Uh, everything I've done with it has worked really good. I have stream HD content, which looks kind of good. Uh, it's free, so <laughs> I don't blame them. Um, I have the PS3 Slim 120 gig models, just so you know. I don't know about the fat models if it works, but it probably will, because PS3 is like PS3, right? So, I'm going to show you exactly how to launch the program and how it looks later on the TV. So, meet you there. Hello, YouTube. Um, remember that we, I was going to show you this application. That was PS3 Media Server, so I have it right down here. And uh, I have it also in my applications, which is there. So, I'm using a Mac computer, so I'm using Mac OS X, Snow Leopard. Um, but you can use anything else. Uh, Windows, Linux works also. So, what you're going to need to do is turn on your PS3 and turn on your TV. When you've done that, push the media, the PS3 media server, and let it load. When it's loaded, it will look like this, and you say, let it go out and connect to my PS3. It says no, I didn't find your PS3. I think it's because I have my firewall on. But it will probably find it soon. Yeah, find it. So, now that I'm connected to my PS3 here, just take down this. It will look like that. So now that we're taking this down, I'm going to show you how it looks on the PS3. So, see ya. So now that you have uh, turned on your plug and play PS3 media server, I go to the input on your TV, which is your PS3, so you can see the menu, mine is HDMI 1. And here you got the menu, you know. Go to video, music, or photo, whatever, you will see this. That's, in, that's your plug and play. Go into there. When you see this, it will give you options of what you want to view. So I can show you. If you go down, the slash is going to directories. So then you can take volumes and you go into hard drives. I'm going to take my external hard drive and I'm going to turn on. Just I 
Pretend you should be there. So let's see. It's loading. It's playing. And there you go. It's playing How I Met Your Mother. Season 1. Um, with good quality. Drive through your PS3. So it works great. Right. Um, keep in mind that you might want to do some like screen adjustments. Can you use that one? Anyway, it's working great. So thank you for watching this YouTube video. Um, hope this helped you out to get a good plug and play. Um, PS3 media server. So thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe or comment if you have any questions. We'll answer as fast as possible. Thank you.